The term leukoedema comes from leuko, which means white, and edema, meaning swelling, which refers to fluid accumulation in tissues. It is a benign oral condition characterized by gray whitish, milky opalescent lesions on the buccal mucosa. These lesions can appear as diffuse or patchy areas and are typically asymptomatic. Because of its appearance, leukoedema is sometimes mistaken for leukoplakia or oral candidiasis. However, all three are different. Leukoplakia is a premalignant or a precancerous lesion with a thicker white, non wipeable patch, and candidiasis is a benign opportunistic infection that leaves behind red lesions when scraped off. Leukoedema is particularly common in darker skinned individuals, with studies reporting up to 90% of cases in black populations. Since it is highly common, many researchers consider it a normal anatomical variation rather than a pathological condition. While its exact cause is unclear, smoking is believed to exacerbate the condition and it often becomes less noticeable after quitting. Microscopic examination of leukoedema reveals elongated and broad reti ridges. A closer snap on the epithelial cells shows a thickened epithelium with intracellular edema in the spinous layer. The affected cells appear vacuolated with pycnotic nuclei and the surface may be parakeratinized. On the other hand, the histopathology of leukoplakia shows hyperkeratosis, epithelial dysplasia, and loss of normal mucosal structure. I have already published a detailed video on leukoplakia and you can find it in the oral pathology playlist. Also, I have provided the link for it in the description and the comment section of this video. Although both leukoedema and leukoplakia present as white patches in the mouth, they have distinct features. If we summarize both, leukoedema is a harmless condition where lesions disappear when the mucosa is stretched. Leukoplakia, on the other hand, is a premalignant lesion that appears as white patches and cannot be scraped off or disappear upon stretching. The exact cause of leukoplakia is unknown, but certain risk factors contribute to its development, including smoking, chronic candidiasis, mechanical trauma, such as malocclusion or ill-fitting dental restorations, and other sources of persistent irritation. Unlike leukoedema, which is considered an anatomical variation, leukoplakia has the potential to become malignant, making early detection and monitoring extremely essential. Because of these differences, clinicians should always stretch the mucosa during an oral examination. So if the lesion disappears, it is likely leukoedema, and if it remains, further evaluation will be needed to rule out leukoplakia or other conditions. Leukoedema, as we said, is completely benign and requires no treatment at all. However, any persistent white patch that does not disappear upon stretching should be evaluated further to rule out potentially serious conditions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really think that this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, share and comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.